Kenny Brower has been dominating college lacrosse for his entire career at Duke. The 6'2", 215 pound defender moves faster than nearly any pole in college lacrosse. He plays with a wide stance and relies on getting into his matchups bodies and forcing them to low angles. This year for Duke, he is taking the number one coverage in a majority of his games. In Duke's win against UVA, Kenny Brower shut down Schellenberger, allowing only one goal which was off a fast break. This eraser is going to be a premium product in the PLL next year and will continue to lead this Duke defense in the 2024 season. Today I'm going to show why Kenny Brower is so good and what you can do to play like him. Here's our first saying Out of the mix, it gives him another pull on the perimeter. Now Schellenberger up top, looking to dodge, loses his footing with Brower all over him. Brower's done a nice shot. Schellenberger activates in the right alley, and the first thing I want you to notice is how Brower approaches him. He has his outside foot splitting Schellenberger's body, which allows him to deny top side, but also be able to cut back left if Schellenberger takes a wide angle. Schellenberger dodges early going for the sweep, but since Brower had his feet relatively square, he's able to have an efficient drop step and deny Schellenberger from knifing in. If you play too much of a closed stance in this position, as opposed to a square, your drop step becomes much bigger if your man cuts left. As Schellenberger flows across the top, watch how Brower isn't panicking trying to catch up. He knows Schellenberger is too far out and has to knife in to get a shot, so he stays trailing and patient. On the rollback, Schellenberger slips and Brower is all over him, leaving Schellenberger flustered and throws a bad pass. Here's our next clip. They toughened it up and got back into it. Now, Virginia, 6v6, can they get anything going consistently? Schellenberger on Brower. It's been a big matchup. Schellenberger shoots and it's wide. A team's first possession of the third quarter. The first thing I want you to notice here is how far out Brower is playing Schellenberger. He knows that Schellenberger loves dodging with open space and throwing double moves with no contact. As for Brower, he operates best and close with contact, so he wants to play him far out and jam on the initial dodge. Watch how Brower initially starts in a shuffle, anticipating a cutback and only comes into a run once Schellenberger starts moving too fast. As Schellenberger rolls back, Brower stays in a trail position but wants to close the gap and create contact. By closing this gap, he's able to disturb Schellenberger's second rollback, giving him more time to react. When he jams Schellenberger on this roll, it also allows him to change direction in an easier fashion by using Schellenberger's weight. This is a critical point in the dodge. Brower's in a heavy trail position, but has the crease he can cut through to gain angle. He knows if he rushes across the goal, he can get hung in the back of it if Schellenberger throws another move. So he slowly progresses through the crease, staying in a trail position until he 100% knows that Schellenberger is driving up the right side. Right at GLE, Schellenberger wants to gain angle, but Brower is able to meet him and drive a punch. I can't understate how well Brower moves his feet and denies the top side as he delivers this jam. He drives out with his stick, denying Schellenberger any more angle, and forces him to shoot a fading shot. Here's our next clip. To be involved in the clearing game, like Nunes was. Right. Three goal deficit has become five now early in this second half, so a danger moment for Virginia. They got a strike. Schellenberger couldn't connect. Brower gets isoed behind and again tries to close out the space so Schellenberger can't dodge in open space. One thing to note is Brower's adjustment steps as Schellenberger is planning to dodge. He takes very small shuffle steps, so he spends more time in contact with the ground. The bigger your shuffle steps are as you adjust to a dodge, the larger gap of time is before you can react and drop step. While we're talking about stance, I want to note how wide Brower's stance is. This gives him an extremely steady base, allowing him to deliver a big hit, and you'll rarely ever see Brower off balance because of this fact. Stance width is objective, but I would always advocate for wider for most players. Again as Schellenberger cuts, Brower plays to his strength and closes out the space. He wants Schellenberger to react to him, not the other way around. As Schellenberger rolls back, he loses his balance and can give Brower an opportunity to pounce. But Brower just stays balanced and continues in his coverage. I love this choice because at this point in the dodge, the chances Schellenberger beats him is so low, so if he were to lunge and go for stick, he would be just giving Schellenberger an opportunity. As they drive up, Brower continues to climb with his feet, now taking top side with his feet and sealing with his stick. As he feels Schellenberger's weight shift up, he knows he's going to pass, so he throws a lift check and messes up Schellenberger's throw in motion. Win over 
over Navy. Here's our last great crowd at that game. Ten thousand, Connor. Oh, you love the anthem. Wow. The anthem with the electric guitar. Beautiful. I've been to two Army Navy games as a fan. Here on McCabe, he knows that all of the open space and a pick are to his left, so he wants to seal McCabe the other way. By climbing up the field, he forces McCabe to dodge to the right. Brower is able to find a V hold on McCabe, which stops him from taking a direct path to the goal. It is important that Brower stays trailing in the V hold because he's now very vulnerable to a rollback. Without any fancy checks, just V hold pressure, he's able to strip the ball from McCabe. The best defenders in college lacrosse aren't fancy. They match feet, deliver contact, and never get greedy with stick checks. I can't wait to watch Brower the rest of the 2024 season and hope to see him do good work in the pros. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.